My Keyhole Experiences A Kissimmee Trip Report uploaded to Arrowhead on June 10, 2000 This is about me and my experiences with ketamine aka Special K I had done it for the first time a while back An ex-boyfriend of mine was stealing it trying to make some money and he would give it to me for free In the beginning I would do a bump or two at a time with a key or from a bullet three or four times a day. The first time I had done it, I was at this lake near my house in New Orleans. I was with two of my guy friends and it was their first time doing it also. It was freezing cold outside and we sat in my friend's truck and did two little lines each on my friend's truck manual book and with a dollar bill. After we all had our two lines of the ketamine, we sat there for a minute and we were saying, oh yeah, I kind of feel it. I said, well, let's get out of the truck and go for a walk closer to the lake. As we got out of the truck, I realized it felt really different to stand up. We started to walk towards the lake and it felt like we were walking so slow, kind of like slow motion. It was the most beautiful view we had through where we were standing. It was about 5.50 pm. The sun was setting and the sky was pink and blue swirls with the golden sun at a far distance disappearing. It looked like a painting. I will never forget it. I felt so awesome. I had a great feeling come over me. I felt so comfortable as we, as we stood there watching the sky. I imagine the people who saw us were maybe thinking, what are they on? The thing is, when people ask me how does ketamine feel, there is no way to describe it in my point of view. All I can say is numbness. Everything is numb and really visual colors and shapes. It's very intense. Well, so eventually we were doing more and more of it every day since we would get it for free and it felt so good. See, I didn't know anything about this truck. I still don't know that much to this day. I would just snort it and be happy. I didn't care what was in it or what the long term effects were. There was only one time I remember that something strange came out of it. I had an out of body experience, I believe they call it. We were in my garage with the black light on. It was freezing cold, so me and about eight of my friends were all huddled next to each other and my friend had a whole vial of K that he cooked and cut up. We sat there for an hour or so doing the whole thing. I remember the next thing I knew after I hit my 11th rail of K, everything got quiet, I couldn't speak. I then remember looking down at myself as if I was on the ceiling looking at myself. I saw all my friends around me talking to each other and my boyfriend at the time was next to me, waving his hand in front of my face. There was no sound even though we had the radio on and blaring some techno. I just saw myself, everyone, everything. I snapped out of it, it seemed like a long time, but when I snapped out of it, it had only been a minute or so that this happened. My boyfriend at the time gave me some coke to drink, cause to my knowledge, that kills your K-hole high. In a way, I was scared. I never, even, I never even told any of them about this. They thought I was just too messed up to speak. But that wasn't the case. I continued doing ketamine for a while, still doing large doses. We started doing about $70 worth a night between three people, even though most people would have probably stopped after that one occurrence. I did not, because it is the best feeling in the world. To me, it took away all of my problems, pain, worries when I was on it. I just had to learn what my limits were. Now I barely ever do it, 
maybe once every few months. If I could, if I could, though, I would do it every day of my life. I don't know about the long-term effects or anything, but I honestly would not care. That's how good it is to me. I don't think it is for everyone, though. I think if you like acid and shrooms, then you will like ketamine. I remember a few times I mixed cocaine and ketamine, that was intense also. I was in a dorm at some college, cause my friend was dealing him some K. I would suggest doing that also if you can handle it. Maybe start out small with a little of each and eventually build up to it. But this drug, like all drugs, can be dangerous. I really like this site. I get to read everyone else's experiences and I hope some of you will read mine also. You can probably tell that I am younger, not an adult, but nowadays sometimes us teens know more because times are changing and things the adults never knew existed are being discovered by us. Generation X. Thanks.